All right, so this is the kind of basic layout of the audio signal switch. Um, this time it's a lot simpler because it's just a relay. It's a what they call a double pole, double throw relay. Two poles, two, two different areas that the switch can swing into. So there's like two switches for the left and the right channel. You can switch two different sources with this thing. Of course, they make relays that have more contacts, but they're a little more expensive. This particular relay is a pretty small signal relay, runs on 5 volts. Come, they come in all voltages. They're relatively cheap. Uh, this one I got out of like an Arduino kit of some kind, that like a development kit, just laying around. It was like perfect for this application, so I decided to use it. Pretty quiet, actually. As you probably have heard now the transistor latch to get the coil to switch these is the same as other video with the 4066 chip now you can make transistor latches with just one button that switches it on and off I might explain that later but essentially these resistor values I just picked almost at random uh, those resistors are actually uh, 2.2 K's in circuit and just had to go and change those basically you want the base currents into these to be high enough now on the data sheet it will tell you I mean I've got the data sheet up right here it's a 5 volt um, basically this particular one has a coil resistance of 125 ohms now with this particular type of transistor latch you want these collector loads to be more or less equal like they can be a little mismatched but they can't be like you know 10k and like 125 ohms it has to be like in the ohms region like less than a thousand ohms i would say less than 500 for this thing to latch otherwise it may not uh latch permanently or might latch in and then pop back out again it does draw a fair bit of current at idle however uh well here's what the relay on draws 50 milliamps thereabouts and then at idle draws 30 uh, because it's going through this little 220 ohm and then this is like you know 125 so there they do sell latching relays where basically there are two of these coils in in a package and when a coil is engaged it locks the switch into place and it takes the other coil to pull it back out. Well, they make single and double coil latching. Double coil is a little bit better because you can literally take these two push button switches and rig it up. You might want to consider that if you're going to build something with these latching. I think latching ones cost slightly more, but it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, this is how you do it with a relay. You won't have any of the inherent distortion you might get with uh, MOSFETs. It's a pretty clean way to do it. In fact, this relay here can handle, I think in the data sheet it says 60 watts. And so you can switch speaker outputs with these things. And they're they're deadly quiet too. Like this thing I was expecting it to be a lot clankier. Um, but if you wanted to switch like 100 watts, for instance, you'd have to get a hold of, uh, oh, where is it? I know I've got one. One of these, This is I believe this is a 10 amp. Yeah, it's a 10 amp rated uh, relay. Now, of course, I think it's just a single, uh, single pull double throw, so you need two of these, but these 10 amp ones are pretty easy to come by, pretty cheap, a uh, little more expensive than that. But basically, yeah, you can switch anywhere from line level, which is what I'm doing here, to uh, signal level, like speaker level. So that's that's pretty good. Yeah, as long as it's rated for it. So yeah the transistor latch driving a relay used for audio no distortion well very very low distortion a whole lot lower than you'd ever get with mosfets all right i got the relay rigged up to a signal source like a sine wave generator and a tape deck so turn on the tape deck <laughs> 